Hey everyone, The Magic Adventure here, and today we're going to be going through the biggest question I get asked quite often. Can you do more than one park in a day? Is that park hopper option really worth it? Well, today we're going to go through all of this and a little bit more. Let's jump into this. So there you are sitting on the purchase screen right now, trying to decide if you should add on that park hopper option. And you're wondering, is it even possible to do multiple parks in a single day? Well, this question really comes down to a few main points to really help you make this choice. The first question I always ask is if it's your first time going to Disney World. If the answer is yes, then I would probably avoid doing a park hopper option on this trip. There's just so much to do and so much to see in each park, especially on your first trip to Disney World, that I would not want anyone to miss out on this for the first trip. Just walking around a park, taking your time the first time being in the park will be 110% worth it. Now, if the answer is no, you've been to Disney before, then let's go to the next question. That next question is, do you know what you like to do most in each park? Have you seen everything in each park? If the answer is no, then once again, get out on the park hopper option. If the answer is yes, then maybe let's consider this once again, because as you would know, there are some things that once you've seen it once, you can kind of skip it the next time. Maybe you aren't the biggest fan of a certain show or a parade in each park. Maybe you really only want to go on like three rides in Hollywood Studios instead of all of the different ones. Maybe you don't really mind missing out on something since you will see it again on your next trip. That leads me to my last question. When will be your next trip to Disney? Will it be this year? Next year? N never again? Well, of course, if this is your last trip, then don't rush yourself through each of the parks. If you won't be going for several years, then once again, don't rush yourself. However, if you're going again, say in the next few months or even the next year, then maybe you wouldn't mind missing the fireworks in Epcot or missing that one ride in Animal Kingdom or, you know, that one parade in Magic Kingdom or that one ride in Hollywood Studios. So, now that you know all these different qualifying questions I typically ask on whether or not you should get this park hopper option, which parks are not really full day parks? Well, none of them and all of them. What? 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 Well, it really depends on your preferences. For example, if you are not much of a food person or culture person, then maybe Epcot's not really a full day park. Maybe you aren't the biggest fan of safari rides or just safaris in general. Then Animal Kingdom is not really a full day park for you. Maybe you don't really like roller coasters or maybe you have little ones and can't really go on roller coasters. Then maybe Hollywood Studios is not a full day park for you. Or maybe you have a lot of teenagers, don't really have a lot of little ones, or you're not the biggest fan of the smaller rides and the history fan of Disney then Magic Kingdom may not be a full day one for you. I know, I know, I just made a ton of people very angry. How dare I call your favorite park not a full day park? But, I mean, it's true. Think about it. Not a lot of people value the exact same thing throughout the parks. Even the biggest Disney fans think, you know, one thing is better than the other. They don't agree. Everyone has different options. Or opinions. For example, my parents only hit a few rides in Epcot and call it a day there because they don't care to go try all the different food options or walk around the world, but they love Hollywood Studios and will spend a full day there to hit all of the crazy rides. When it comes down to it, it's really up to you and your preferences on which parks you want to try to squeeze together in a single day. That wraps up my thoughts on whether or not you can do multiple parks in a single day at Disney World. If you like this video, then hit that like button. If you want to stay up to date on all the things Disney, then hit that subscribe button. 
I am the Magic Adventurer, and I'll see you next time.